Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe these totally unedited phaco. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus. There is little oozing of blood at the main incision. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. There is also some little ooze. And this is another side port on the right side of the main incision. There is also some little oozing of blood vessels. So all the incisions have been made including some capillaries. And this has been done intentionally so that healing of these wounds become good. And now the anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble and the dye is washed out with PSS. And now we are going to do capsulorexis with uterita forceps. Whenever we do capsulorexis with uterita forceps, we must remember that we must lift the anterior lip of the main wound Keep the anterior leaf lifted up and rotate the iterator to do capsulorexis. So here it is. This is uh, iterator forceps. It goes in the tip of the iterator is lifted up like this. If we press on the posterior leaf, leakage of visco -urcus. So we must keep the anterior leaf of the main wound lifted up. And now keeping the anterior leaf lifted up, all other maneuvers are done. The anticapsule is torn, a capsular tag is raised and the tag is guide it anti-clockwise or you can guide it clockwise according to your comfort and now see what happens at 3 o'clock the rexis runs to periphery and then I pull it like this and bring it back so pull is not exactly at the central little bit of tangential a combination of centripetal and tangential force is good for bringing the rexis back to the track and now some more visco and the tip of the phaco needle is to be introduced now the machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3 from Switzerland, the tip goes beveled down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Since the nuclear sclerosis is about grade 3, it is very easy to hold these nuclei and chop these nuclei into fragments. Here it is. Just bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, hold it at the center and slice the nucleus like this turn it hold it another place and slice and thus one heminucleus has been divided into two fragments this is the other heminucleus and the nucleus has been divided into four pieces now this is a real time surgery you can easily comprehend how much time you save by direct chop. If you try to do direct, if you try to make a trench to divide and conquer or stop and chop, you are going to spend a lot of time, more time in the anterior chamber. But when you do direct chop, you save a lot of time and it is safe whenever you learn the trick. The trick is you must be able to hold the nucleus very firmly at a thick place and 
use your chopper to divide the nucleus into fragments. This is the epinucleus. The epinucleus also has been removed. And now we have to remove the cortex. This is visco. I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the cortex. The irrigating proof first goes in through the main wound hydrates all the cortex all around so that when you pull this cortex it comes easily and see how easily it comes once you hydrate these cortex with your irrigating cannula so all the cortex have come out only few fibers uh, at the sub side port area I'm hydrating those fibers so that they get detached from the posterior capsule and equated and now I use the aspirating cannula to remove these fibers that's it cortical cleanup is done nicely in this case uh, B cartridge is being used so I enlarge the main wound by 0.2 millimeter. The size of this wound is now 3 millimeter. And now this is the lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens from Apasami Associates. This is known as NASPRO, no financial interest. And now how to place the lens? There is extension of the capsule at 2 o'clock. So I'm placing the haptics in this way at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock meridian. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS and now this is the final lavage with Simco a gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium through the aspirating foot by flushing out some visco and whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium gets removed and now the integrity of all the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.